This is a review of the LEGO Star Wars 2021 sets we have images of so far. We have the Mandalorian Trouble on Tatooine set with a Baby Yoda Mandalorian and Tusken Raider figure, a ballista-like Tusken Raider device, a Tusken Raider tent, and a Mandalorian speeder bike. The speeder bike looks great with tons of detail and a carrier for the child known or as Baby Yoda. We have a brick-built tent in half so that you can put your figures in it, and play around, do whatever you want. A ballista, which um, is a spring-loaded shooter, a great feature for kids, and it also looks nice, and you can probably re remove the uh, spring-loaded shooter on top, and that'd turn out nice too. And the Mandalorian blasters is uh, reversed in one of the images. Next up, we have the... You see, we have the Microfighter Millennium Falcon, which is a Series 8 Microfighter with 101 pieces and two stud shooter, shooters on top for a play feature, one Han, Han Solo minifigure, an updated radar dish, and um, not much else. It's almost exactly like all the... The two other versions of it, just some minor tweaks here and there. But on the back, you can see a decent image of the Tauntaun vs. AT-AT microfighter set, which is what I found interesting, is that we have images of that on the back of this set, but not on the back of, or on its own release. So, I don't know why LEGO has decided to do that, but that is what they've done. And a standard just box and collect them both on it just to advertise and what looks to possibly be yeah a Tatooine docking bay on the bottom there so that's for the uh, box art on the back and that's nice and next up we will have the new the Imperial TIE Fighter which is a underrated set in my opinion because it is a $40 TIE Fighter and it is slightly underscaled, but it comes with three figures, and that Imperial droid in the center looks to possibly be a new figure, and that's nice, just a new figure with looks like two Imperial symbols on the helmet, just like the TIE Fighter pilot, and the TIE Fighter itself has two spring-loaded shooters up front, a cockpit that will most likely fit one minifigure, some nice box art there with the Death Star 2 in the back, some minor explosions, and the standard box art for Lego at this point in time. With 432 pieces, an 8 plus set, this is the Imperial TIE Fighter, and it had and the wings on the side where it looks to be space between the bars and the surface which is a what I'd expect, but the ends of it, I don't know if they're attached or not. I can't tell if the ends are attached or if they'll just pop off, just like just if you were flying around and you bump the sides, the pieces will come off. I don't know. Hope that's not the case. The cockpit itself looks pretty standard because you won't be seeing it. You'll just have your figure in there. That's about as much as I can discern from these images. Next up, we have the... X-Wing, which is a very recent set with some smaller down, some downsizing and some new pieces on it. And the wings, the uh, blasters on the wings, those look probably the best in my opinion. Those look way better than the 2018 set version. But the nose looks a little weird just the way how it sticks out on the edge compared to the other side. And then the box art looks strangely familiar from the 2018 one with what's behind the X-Wing, not the um, top and bottom and sides and stuff. That's obviously new. But the minifigures are Luke Skywalker, Leia Organa, and a Resistant General, who's I can't read the name, I'm sorry, and an R2-D2. Wow, R2-D2, interesting figure to have. Sure, you don't have that one. And it's 474 pieces, which is small for a modern X-Wing, 
Now the back looks cleaner but less detailed than the 2018 one where it's sort of like the mechanical part is exposed. The engines look just how I remember them from the show and the cockpit swings up and down with that new X-Wing cockpit piece and that's what I see from these videos. Thanks for watching. I also plan to have a stop motion come out on Friday, 12 o'clock Eastern U.S. time. So um, I thought I'd just let you know about that. It's not going to be anything special or anything. And after that, I have a Christmas special planned. So, yeah.